I can't tell you the last time I found a dually Chevy Silverado 3500. It's been a long time. And I will say, this is a base model dually, so I've never done a video on a truck like this ever. The last videos I've done on a dually Silverado were like high countries, LTZs, maybe an LT thrown in there somewhere. But this truck is pretty base. I'm gonna show you guys around this truck. I'm gonna show you the payload number to show you how much capacity you would have with this truck. So let's go ahead and start with the window sticker. So here's the truck that we're looking at. This is gonna be a WT, which is work truck model, full wheel drive. And then here's just a quick listing of some of the standard equipment. And then up top here you see where the standard vehicle price is at $47,100. And this truck does have that optional Duramax. And then this one does have the gooseneck and fifth wheel package. And a few more things up top. You can get power takeoff on a Chevy truck, which is a really good advantage with a truck with a bed. Typically with a Ram, I know you can't get power takeoff unless you get a cabin chassis. So that is a good advantage. This does have the all-terrain tires, so I'll show you guys those. And then finishing off everything up here. Now this truck has $15,600 in options, although that does not seem like a lot, but the majority of that uh, option list is that diesel engine. But total price with destination at $16.95 is $64,420. So if you do get a WT model, you are gonna get a black bumper, black grill, and let's just be honest, it looks great on the silver. I think it looks amazing, actually. I think I would almost offer this if it was available on a higher trim level. It really does accident well. And having this aggressive front end looks really good on the dually too, especially when you look at it on the side. It looks really menacing. But as you guys can see, this does have halogen headlights. There is no availability for upgraded headlights on these trim levels. Fog lights are missing. You do get the tow hooks down below. And you do have a functional hood scoop to feed some air to that intercooler and that, those turbos. And as you just saw in the window sticker, this does have a Duramax, which upgrades the transmission to an Allison. I'll show you guys under the hood here in a second. Now these are gonna be a 17 inch wheel. These are Michelin tires. This is where GM is better than Ram. Like they really do give you a good selection of tires, even as an option, because I'm pretty sure it comes with a cheap tire probably, and this is just an upgrade, but at least they still make it available for you. So this is a Michelin tire, as I said, and these are the all-terrain tires, as you saw. And these are gonna be an LT235-8017. And then here's the capacity. So for single, it's gonna be 3,085. That's gonna be for the uh, kilograms. And this is gonna be an 80 PSI code. And then for dually, it's gonna be 2835. They do put a fabric material in here, which makes it easier to uh, clean this out. And GM's and Taurus are putting independent front suspensions on their trucks too. A lot of people love it because the ride is a lot better. A lot of people hate it because they don't feel like it should be on a big truck like this, but GM's found a way to make it work. So we'll just give them that. If you do pick the work truck model, you will have manually adjusted mirrors. So if you want to put them in tow mode, you would have to push them in and out. You do lose the spotlights too on the mirrors. However, they still give you, uh, actually, I don't know, are these turn signals? Let's see. They are still turn signals. So you don't lose that function. You do still get a convex mirror. It is manually adjusted even on higher trim levels. And again, check out just the, the accents with the black trim pieces. Again, I know it's just plastic, but it really does look good on the door handles. You have the tubular running boards and the side steps on this bed really do come in handy. And especially if you're hooking up your fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer, you can lock it in by just stepping up here. And yeah, it makes life a little bit easier. I think that Ford is first place with the dually side bed, like the side appearance. And I think that GM is second place for sure. 
But Ram is definitely last place. I think their dualies don't look as nice unless you get the short bed dually, which I think looks kind of cool. They do provide you the DEF fill and diesel fill. And I believe this is a seven gallon tank. And this is a 36 gallon tank. I'll put it here if I'm wrong. And as far as your suspension goes, I haven't seen this in so long. So they do give you three leaves on the dualies. I believe they give you two uh, overload leaf springs on the single rear wheels. So pretty robust. You do have four leaves in the main pack. And you can see those bump stops too. And let's check out under here. They are still giving you some shock absorbers. And if you don't know, the only rear axle ratio you can get for the rear is going to be a 342. And check out the size of those brakes too. They do give you a backup camera and they provide a light for your conventional hitch. You have a 4 and a 7 pin. Class 5 receiving hitch. I do like these um, mounting points for your chains. If you have big ones, these are really easy to use. And you do still have an assisted tailgate, which is kind of rare sometimes on these lower trim levels. They do give you LED lights back here too. They still provide a plug in the bed. Spray and bed liner, and as you saw on the window sticker, fifth wheel prep package. There are going to be some accident LED lights in here, but most of the bulbs in here are going to be incandescent. And on the side of the bed, these are going to be LED. All right, so I mentioned that this hood scoop on the hood was functional, so you can see it routes air right into this area, right into the intake. And this is the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. It's gonna be good for 445 horsepower, 910 pound-feet of torque. This has been around since 2017, 18. That's when they introduced the L5P. And I would say that this is one of the more reliable diesel engines because it's the one that has been around the longest. So they've fixed most of the things inside of the engine. It used to use a CP4 back in the LML days, I believe, but they do not use the CP4 anymore in this truck from what I've been told. It is made it to an Allison transmission. Some people will argue it's not a true Allison, but it does have the stamp of approval, which is good. So Allison definitely says that this is a good transmission at the very least, right? 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 I don't know. Maybe. Alrighty. So what do you get with a base model GM HD? Well, for one, they do provide a key and a key fob. So this does not have push button start. You should do have power windows, power door locks, and I love the vinyl seating inside of the interior. This is definitely an upgrade over cloth, and the interior is pretty much predominantly black with the exception of the roof. As you can see, it's like a like a light gray color, ash color, whatever you want to call it. You do not have a telescoping steering wheel. I thought it was, but it just has you know up and down function. And love the vinyl floors. This is the easiest truck to clean out. You don't have to vacuum it. Well, you kind of do have to vacuum it, but you could just wash it out too. Now, stepping in, you'll see on the side, this truck does have four wheel drive high and low, two wheel drive, tow haul mode. And then here's your lights, which are automatic. You do have electronic brake. And let's go ahead and start this work truck up. So this truck does not have that much fuel. So we're gonna go through this pretty quickly, all right? So this is just the main screen in your cluster. And you have a home screen, which shows you the miles per hour and you're showing that your fuel's low. And then this is showing you some average fuel economy, things like that. 
trip one and trip two fuel range oil life and then this shows you your tire pressure monitoring for all six wheels you also have an air filter life it's pretty cool that they do that including the brake pad life this comes in handy for people who are putting 50 60 thousand miles in these trucks fuel economy fuel filter life def tank show you how full it is and that's pretty much it scoot over you can um, change and remove some things that you just saw if you don't want to see them you can set a speed warning now as I mentioned outside you do have a backup camera you can also put on the line for if you need to get to a parking space or if you just need to hook up to a trailer and this does have Apple CarPlay so you do have two USBs you have a type A type C so you can use it for this system here they still provide the trailer light check as I said the Apple CarPlay the Android Auto is there shows you the temperature the time all that time is wrong but and here's just a few other things but this is a basic truck you're not gonna have dual climate control things like that uh, you're not going to have a sunroof, you're not going to have a bigger screen, which this is a smaller screen. But what you do have is big payload, and I'm going to show that to you here in a second. They still provide LED interior lights inside of the interior. Lots of storage on this side. Well, this is not a lot of storage up top, but down below there's some storage. And you do have more power plugs inside. You have a trailer brake, exhaust brake. You can drop that tailgate if you'd like. You have your cautions, traction control. This is what's gonna control these plugs. And this is what's gonna be for your power takeoff. And because this is a six passenger, you do have a seat here in the center. Now, they do not provide any storage right here. I remember in the past, some trucks did do that, but this truck does not have that. And if you wanna put this back down, there is this little guy you can pull. Two cup holders, a few places to put some things, and a decently sized center console. Here's another advantage of the GM trucks. They do have a flat floor surface. This cab is extremely big, um, and it's a lot bigger than Ram's crew cab. And I want to say it's probably on par with Ford's Cab 2. But normally in the basic trucks, they never give you a 60-40 bench. I don't understand why this is cost effective to just give you a, you know, bench that all goes up together. GM has found a way to make it cost effective to still give you a 60-40 bench. And that's a huge advantage in my opinion. You still have those vinyl floors, rubber floors, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, like I say, you provide some air vents back for your rear occupants, keep them comfortable, storage in the door, and that's pretty much it. There's not much going on back here. And that's a good thing because you'll have a big payload number, right? All right, we're gonna take this bad boy for a quick test drive. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this truck does have an independent front suspension. And overall, you can clearly tell that this truck is really smooth. Like, I have to move the tag real quick, guys. Hold on one second. It's really bothering me. Hold on. All right, here we go. Here's some acceleration from 20. Wow. Sheesh. Now, this truck does have a larger ring gear in the rear compared to the three-quarter tons. And if you do put the truck in tow haul mode, that's how you get max performance out of this truck. Um, as I mentioned, guys, that independent front suspension, it definitely does soften up the ride. I mean, you know, even the steering in this truck, the steering feel is really light. But, you know, for the most part, you know, the Michelin tires do help, you know, with the control. I definitely get that upgraded option. Um, I feel like tires make the biggest improvement in any truck, especially if you're towing heavy. Uh, the road noise is a little noticeable, 
Um, not from the tires, but really just from the cab. And I can tell there's like a little bit of like a shimmy. It's not like, it's not even a shimmy. It's just like a little bit of vibration maybe from the tires too, because they might be just a little bit more aggressive. But you know, just doing about 70 miles an hour. I mean, this truck really does feel really good. I'm gonna accelerate a little bit at 60. Yeah, transmission is super, super, super smooth. It feels really good. You don't even feel the shifts at all, really. But it feels like confident too when you accelerate. Um, having that 342 in the rear is going to really help with fuel economy. I've said this in a lot of other videos, but the first, second, and third gear in this truck are pretty deep. And that's why you don't really need a, a 410 out back. And I actually am okay with that in this truck. Now, when you get a gas truck, you know, having the 373 with the six-speed, I don't know, I just feel like they should they should really option it with a 410. I mean, the 66 is strong. I'm not saying it doesn't have the power, it doesn't have the guts. But for the most part, I think that the GM truck would benefit with the gas engine having a higher actual ratio. But overall, I mean, the tow mirrors, they're pretty nice too. Um, they are automatic for the top mirror, but the convex is not. Hopefully they'll fix that for the refresh. And even though this truck, you know, a lot of people complain about the interior, but having this interior on the work truck it's actually really nice. It's really nice to look at. I don't expect any work truck interior to be nice. And I'm actually really okay with how this truck looks. You know, cruising at 80 miles an hour too, by the way, I, I didn't know how fast I was going. This truck does feel really secure on the road. I have noticed that if you do like shake the steering wheel, there's a little bit of sway, which you can expect, you know, from a truck that weighs 8,500 pounds. But I feel like there should be a little bit more steering feel. Like I feel like it's just too, it's too soft. It, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel good. Maybe if you had a trailer behind this thing, it would feel a little bit better. But I just feel like it's lacking a little bit with the feel. I like it to be a little heavier. Like if I were to point it to the left, I mean, I feel like there's like a little bit of delay when you turn it. So, and with this truck being so big and heavy, you know, you don't want a lot of sway. You want this truck to be, you know, if you turn the steering wheel, you want it to go as soon as you turn and not have a small delay so that's something i would like to see different from this truck just a better steering feel on this independent front suspension the very last thing i want to say about this truck is the steering is really good i'm going to show you what i'm talking about up here hold on one second Let's see if i turn in a little late so you can see it yeah this truck has really tight steering I couldn't compare it to like a Ram or a Ford, but it's it's more than enough from you know just from that that small turn I just did. But let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers on the door now. I'm gonna show you the gross axe weight ratings here. So the front is gonna be six thousand pounds. The rear is gonna be ten thousand five hundred pounds. And the gross fuel weight rating is gonna be fourteen thousand pounds. Gross combined weight rating. It's going to be 40,000 pounds. The curb weight of this truck, 8,574 pounds. Max payload is 5,426 pounds. So that's a big payload capacity. Conventional trailers, 20,000 pounds is what you can tow with a 2,000 pound uh, tongue weight. And a gooseneck trailer, you can tow up to 31,100 pounds with a max tongue weight of 4,665 pounds. So that's, again, pretty big numbers. And you know, those are just recommendations for the tongue weights too. I mean, you can always stay within your payload capacity if you go up to 47, 4,800 pounds. But nevertheless, you know, if you put a bigger fuel tank in here, if you travel with a lot of people in the truck, you just have to be careful not to exceed your payload capacity. But on that note, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon.